We are broadcasting live from the Thunderdome in Cineraplis, Forsk, Minnesota. And the Mutant Eaters have a proud history in the MFL of winning just about everything but the really big game that matters. And maybe that's why they have the same exact number of bars and churches. Hey, shut up and pass the tater tots, huh? And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Midway Mutants battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. And he breaks away. Oh, with the punishing hit. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. The cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads up feet. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and long. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. Uh, oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and, well, good luck. Receiver and deflected the ball. Mm. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on the air. Nice catch, and it turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. All week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Third down and long. Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat 
Heat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And the QB decides to throw the ball away. Third down and nine. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he's got a chance for a good return. Here. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. is warming up. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, man, he really wants it. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load. The fans are looking a bit bored. After a quarter with no score, they're cheering on the refs. <laughs> At least someone's moving the ball. Third down and five. for the first down. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. A nice run for five yards. Second down and five. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Third and four. Nicely done for a first down. And 
And it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down and a lot. Looks like the defense... You can't keep a good mutant down. Third down and, well, good luck. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> and it looks like the offense is... And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's... Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And the defense should... And they call it one for this dirty trip. This play is usually good for a quick score because no... And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. <laughs> it's a touchdown. You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid roided out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolf. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the ball razors from the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can wrap up the other half. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! I know I have 
Travis said, never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. Third down and long. toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. The 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Pick up of about three on that play. Second down and seven. sleep permanently. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. You know, you gotta put the buzzsaw in the MVP conversation, Bricks. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for a oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And he throws that one to the sidelines. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. It's good. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go to a strippy show, where are we going? Hey, once you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten.
Second down in a very lot. The defenders one feet just kicked in, and the defense gives up five yards there. Third down and eight. And he's running like a moose right now. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and he's going to try and score. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. <laughs> Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Third down, and the punter is warming up. He's rumbling. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. <laughs> he and he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. down and six. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh, <coughs> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a... Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. This guy's a brick shithouse. Second down and more than the QB would like. He just picked the receiver's pocket and the defense gets a turnover. 
over. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with eyeballs. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, don't you talk about power. And it's first and ten. That's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I was and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and five. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Pow! With the brain scrambler! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Transformed into a giant. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and ten. Well, that'll trim your nostril hairs once and for all. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Easy to give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he breaks away. wrestles away from that tackle. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Oh, that's huge. Looks like the defense has it. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's hit the party. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, that didn't work that time. It was close. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're gonna dump his ass.
second down in a lot. Third down and forever. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Something's like that in a quarterback. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. time like a jack-in-the-box bricks you never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow you just crap your pants junior left in the game second and three not much there maybe a yard and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game oh, nice coaching move there Hall of Fame caliber well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy! Roid Rage, because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. <laughs> His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He's at the 40. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something. The quarterback rigged the ball to explode, and the defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> Second down and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth done... A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Third down and nine. And that's the last timeout. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high-arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expected. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And the Purple Mutant Eaters lose the game today. They fought tooth and nail, but in the end, lose by three. It's a 
a hell of a thing losing at home. They took away all they've got and all they're ever gonna have. Yeah, well, they played like shit. Fuck them. Fuck them indeed, Junior. Let's go down the field and see what that meathead has to say about his MVP award. <laughs> with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation.